Hey, it's Roman with Deer Park Farmstead. Let's talk about Starlink. It's snowing right now, and I want you guys to see how good the service is even in the snow. This is a big thing for satellite to get really good service and have it even during some inclement weather. So check this out. I'll show you some incredible numbers. So there's my dish out in the weather out here. Now there's motors behind that dish that make it to where it moves with the satellites. And it does it all on its own. It's incredibly easy to set up. Uh, you just basically plug it in if you want, but you do have to set up this uh, cord. This is attached permanent, this cord's attached permanently to the dish. Uh, so you have to work from the other end of it to fish it through wherever you need to go. But it is crazy easy how to set it up. Uh, anybody can do it, even a child. So um, just keep that in mind how easy it is to set this up. You just basically plug it in and you're ready to go. All right, back in the house, and I'm gonna go on YouTube really quick here. Keep in mind I'm doing this with one hand here. All right, what I'm gonna do here is type in here 4K, K video, there's one right there. All right. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, make sure that you see down here says auto 144 there at the top is 2160 which is 4k quality there it is this is 4k quality and during a snowstorm Okay, again, you can see it's snowing. Now let's go to the video once more. And we'll see it's still playing the quality of 4K. Settings. And you see right there, quality. See it playing? Now keep in mind, you do have to put that dish in an open area. I've got a lot of trees around here, so I had to find a specific spot that was open, no obstructions, but I am still getting slight obstructions that I'm seeing on the uh, the statistics end of it. You'll see on your app, you can go to statistics and you can see everything as far as if there is any obstructions during the course of the time that the satellites are wandering. So try to find as open an area as possible to put it right in the middle of that and you should be good. The app does supply a picture to where it's open it doesn't show any obstructions within the view so look on your app and make sure you put that in a good spot all right that gives you an idea of how fast the service is again when you get it out of the box you literally only have a few things to do you only have to find out where that cable's going the, that's attached to the satellite dish and the power supply and you've got the router the power supply and once you plug it in and 
it searches, you'll have the, the app on your phone, it'll search for those satellites right away. So you'll see the dish move on its own to where it needs to go for those satellites. So from that point on, you've got service. Give it at least 24 hours to, you know, fine tune it. It's gonna kind of get its bearing on where it's at and it'll get you better service within the first 24 hours. And I'm, you know, before I couldn't even, I had to put everything on 144 pixels with the jetpack we had. And that was, you know, the best we could do out here prior to this Starlink. So we couldn't even get this quality. And now we're streaming movies. We have three devices at least on at any given time my wife's phone, my son on his iPad or whatever, and uh, and me on my phone. So, you know, and, some, and now I've got a laptop that I'm working on at the same time. So sometimes even four things at one time. So um, no hesitations at all. I plugged all these things in at once. I wanted to see how many things I could plug in. And I put it, at, I just wanted to put it at 360 uh, on, all the phones and we we're playing video i was playing videos on everything and and everything there was no hesitation at all so you will be pleased with starlink if you're in rural uh and eventually you know urban and i'm sure it's gonna be just as good so it's definitely gonna compete with these guys so it's about time all right i'll talk to y'all in the next one get this starlink it's incredible